Hello there, once again, live studio audience. It's Spelunky 2, okay? It's Spelunky 2. What, what do you want me to say? You want me to say, oh, I wasn't planning on doing this again? Well, guess what? We're gonna play as a ninja, so deal with it, okay? I don't have time for your complaints. Especially after the disappointment of that last run, I have to do, like... It's like, it's like, you know, playing a League of Legends game or something. You have to end on a good note, right? Or, you know, uh, doing your taxes, right? You have to end on a good note. That's just how it works. And if you don't, uh, let me just actually adjust a little setting there real quick. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. What was I talking about? So, yeah, it's you end on a good note. And the last run that I graced um, every country on planet Earth with um, just ended absolutely terribly, and I'm still mad. I'm still not mad, but I'm still a little peeved. A little peeved, you know, not not major peeveness going on here, but a little peeved because it's one of those death and Splunky where it's like I I there's nothing I could have done to make it. I mean, there's a lot of things I could have done to prevent it, but it's like I didn't know I was in danger there. If that makes you know, one of those situations. It's like you know. Here, we're both in their League of Legends analogy. It's like if you're, you know, you, you lost both your summoner spells and you're really pushed up in lanes. Like, there's no way I'll get ganked, and then you get ganked. It's like, it's like that. It's like, there's no way I'm in danger here. But, you know, that was just the warm-up. That was just the warm-up. This All of this 50, 60, however much time I have in this game, it's all been a warm-up. Um, so now that we are finished, uh, officially now, it uh, wasn't official before, officially finished with the warm-up, this will be the run. We will win this run. It will be amazing, incredible, um, and quite frankly, I think um, the president and of the United States is going to come congratulate me. The prime minister of Japan, the world leader of the underworld, everyone—they're all—they're all, all going to come and be like, "Dude, you are just so good at this video game. Teach us your ways." I'll be like, "I can't. Train secret. Buy my book." Um, and that's how it will be. I knew that snake trap, air trap was there, by the way. Okay, that was good. Um, I'm definitely going to sacrifice this cat for the good of... Alright, that's good. Um, I will buy your bomb, sir. I would have bought your shotgun as well, or I probably would have tried to. Uh, but we got a shotgun from a crate, so that's good. That's extremely good, actually. Not really sure... I probably should have focused on sacrificing that lizard while I had the opportunity to. But the lizard will now die, so uh, that will be the end of that. We will sacrifice this turkey next. I don't think we'll be able to sacrifice enough to actually get the Kapala. Um, maybe if we, like, kill Yane, we could. Which, actually, now that I think about it, let's kill Yane. You know, he's been, he's been sitting there smiling for too long. Uh, the reason we're going to kill him is because we have a shotgun, so it's, like, that's basically a freebie. And he could uh, assist us with the sacrifice. So you're doing the world a service, Mr. Yane. Don't, don't, you know, don't take it personally. I guess we'll tame this turkey while we're at it because we're probably going to sacrifice turkey as well because I'm just an absolute monster. And what do we have here? Uh, it's ropes. That's fine by me. I mean, it's. Whenever he has a crate in there, that's basically worth it because the worst times are when he doesn't have a crate at all or he. The rare times when he doesn't even have like a decent treasure chest, which does happen. Uh, let's sacrifice Yane as well. Don't need his crossbow. Because I'm definitely keeping the shotgun for now. And we actually did get the Kapala, so... Shotgun from a crate. Um, Kapala early. Really good start. We'll not kill the shopkeeper, because there's basically literally no reason to kill him there. Alright, that was concerning. I didn't think he's he would like jump over me, but uh, works for me. Try to get all this blood while we can, because 4 HP is, of course, just the default. It's not super exciting, and I prefer to have an exciting amount of HP. This music is catchy. Remember that? I don't remember the default like cave music in the first Blunky, but I remember it was not catchy, and uh, this music is catchy, so I approve of that. Even though the caves in Spelunky 1 was also like a million times easier. I don't think I've ever seen a more cursed key location. There's... Actually, no, we can get to it without breaking the pot, but... It's still pretty awful. Still pretty awful. This is also like an awful Tiki Trap location. Like, what the heck is going on here? 
I will just uh, leave the shotgun there for now and attempt to find where the heck the thingamajigger went. What's the thingamajigger? You know what I mean. The key, the cave location for the key. That's right, it was over here. Okay. So I think we'll be fine if we just do this. We might have to use a rope to get back up, but I don't think so. Okay, we're good. I'll just, I thought I was going to take fall damage actually there with how much I fell, but that's okay. You know, I'm a pro, I'm a rock climber. John Johnson's my name. I was trying to think of a pro rock, rock climber. No surprise, I don't know any pro rock climbers. Do people make a, are there people who make a living being a pro rock climber? I remember I watched a documentary at, uh, once. Well, I wouldn't say I watched it. It was in on in the background while I was eating. I was like, what the heck is this nonsense? It was like pro, a documentary on pro uh, foosball, I think it was. And there are people who make a living playing foosball. Not many people, but there are people who make a living playing foos, foos, pro foosball. And it really begs the question, like, how many, like, sports are there out there? Like, random, like, you know, sports that most, most people wouldn't consider sports? Like, air hockey. There's another one. Is there anyone on planet on the planet that makes, like, a living? Is there a pro air hockey? Is that a thing? Because, now I'm curious. I, you know, after this, I think I might look up if there's, like, pro air hockey. I'm actually curious if that's a thing. I would think of pro foosball's a thing that there would also be... Okay, well, I killed the cat. I mean, I was planning to kill the cat because I'm not going to take him to the entrance uh, exit at this point, but I didn't get the rain of blood there. I th after this, I'm going to hopefully remember to look up pro air hockey because I'm, I'm legitimately curious if that's a thing. There's other things too. Like, come on, curl curling's a pro sport? No, no, no problem with curling, but like... I'm trying to think of like other minor sports. Let's go to the jungle this time. We have boots and a decent amount of money, so that seems fine by me. Uh, we'll let him go through both sides. Might as well. That should be enough. Fantastic. We could afford... Yeah, we only have three ropes. So, and I really want to get paced this time, because again, that's the main problem of going to lava land. Your chances of getting paced are pretty, pretty slim. And the jungle... The jungle, like, I don't know. I think in most situations, the jungle is better. Okay, I, I don't like. It really does depend. The the, the vol volcano land. I mean, if you have boots and a decent amount of money, that's basically enough reason to go to the jungle. Yeah, especially if you don't have paste. If you do have paste and a decent amount of ropes, I mean, a lot of it depends on like how much you value the lad's cape. Because the lad's cape is basically, I would say, like basically as good as a jetpack. Let's grab that idol because the idol looks a lot scarier than it actually is. Like once you learn the ins and outs of how to do it, it's it's the really not that bad. The only one I consistently avoid is the um and yeah, there's a giant spider who I think we're gonna like go out of our way to try to kill. Just on the off chance we don't see another one in the future. So we'll take two bombs. Actually no, just just one. We'll take just one. There we go, and now we have our paste. So that immediately makes me a lot more confident in this run. I would go. I would continue on about that tangent I was talking about earlier about pro air hawking, but you know, I just don't know. The, the pro foosball thing was kind of funny because you see this guy with like this giant, like giant beard. He's like, I'm a pro foosball player. It's so when I make my living. A lot of people like judge me, say it's weird. Um, it's like, oh, and I'm, it's like, dude, why would you judge someone for playing pro foosball? That if if I knew if I knew someone who made a living playing pro foosball, I'd be like, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> I would like support them all the way. Like, dude, I'm gonna watch all your games to support you. Assuming I was friends with this person, just because it's it's pro foosball. Come on. If I, if I could be a pro foosball player, I would do it. I don't know what other sports I would choose to become a pro at, like other sports that you might, pro sports you might, you might not know exist. You know, let's just be smart about this. And I'm just trying to think of other, like, sp like sports like, again, it, I don't know, you even call foosball a sport? That's one of those things, like air hockey. I played air hockey the other day at an arcade, which I'm not ashamed to admit, air hockey is still fun. And I was like, yeah, it's like, 
that, that's that's it. Air hockey's still fun. I did, I did the thought didn't occur to me at the time. It's like I wonder if there's a pro esports division of this. They probably make more games than the Lo League of Legends pros do. Oh, shots fired. Right doesn't pay me any money. They should though. With my how good I am. Have you seen me? I've gotten to diamond literally once. So I think that shows how good I am at this video game. That video game. This video game too. Blunky, I'm just like an actual guy. If there's like, I'd be like challenger equivalent. Is that the bow over there? Yeah. Are we gonna bring the bow? I don't know. We're not gonna be able to keep the shotgun, but that's one of those things where, yes, I do just want to get like just the normal secret ending at this point. Is cause is good enough for me, but like. We have to try, but we also don't. We get rid of the sh we begin with the shotgun, so I don't know. It's iffy. Just continue our mining because we're playing Terraria apparently. Uh, did we actually get the bow? I don't think we actually it was over there, right? Yeah, and that bought me all the, way, all the way for that. If we get somehow like find a crossbow or something in the future, then sure, but. I've got a free shotgun. I'm gonna use the thing. <laughs> See, it seems pretty silly to just like get a free shotgun and just like, like, nah. Let's let's get this bow instead in hopes of doing some insane route. Though apparently there's also like another route with the eggplant thing again, which that I genuinely don't know if I'm ever gonna do. My ultimate goal is to eventually get like, you know, get to the secret le final level and then do the thing you need to do with the bow. I, which I think is how it works. Again, I haven't done it myself. I've only like read a little bit on it. I haven't seen any gameplay on it. So, which, you know. Well, you, you didn't discover all this on yourself? Yo, I'm terrible at like, anything involving like puzzles in any form, I'm trash at. It's like the my worst two game genres is like, puzzle and like real-time strategy or tactics. I'm not too bad. I'm decent to tactics. It's mostly just real-time strategy, I think. I mean, it doesn't help that I've only ever gotten, like, really into one real-time strategy game that came out in, like, that, what, when Age of Mythology came out, because it was, like, 20 years ago. It was a good game, though. Lots of good memories. Lots of good memories. And the black market's here. Is it, like, right? It's right at the start. Okay, well. That's the easiest black market I've ever seen. Might as well free the other forest children while we're here. Or the forest sisters, because apparently they are sisters. Um, could have fooled me. What's that supposed to mean? Um, you don't worry about it, okay? You're, you're, getting, you're getting carried away with worrying about things. I would like to sacrifice this individual. Because, like, we might as well at this point. And we have plenty of time, so I would like to... Alright, that was bad, but we have plenty of HP, it's fine. Uh, we'll do it for the crate. It should be worth it, hopefully. Compass. That's that's probably worth it. Yeah, we probably could have gotten one on the, the shot, but now we won't have to buy have to buy it or anything. And some more good situations here. This plant concern concerns me. Okay, I was hoping his hitbox like head, mouth hitbox wouldn't like extend or something ridiculous. Thankfully, it did not. Could use a rope to get a ruby. 80,000. That leaves us 40,000 to buy stuff aside from the hedget. Um, no, I'm actually going to use a rope for the ruby. Just because it, it's a ruby. So that's... And I was also hoping the pot would have something as well. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Again, we're going to be able to get a... I'm glad they like nerfed the bear trap so there's actually a gold thing on it so it makes like sense. You can actually see it. Though I was actually pretty good at finding like hidden bear traps after I, once I hit them a couple times I was like I can see these things anywhere now. I have the golden eye. The worst was when they spawn on top of a tree though. Oh the idol. Uh, I mean. That's like a really bad idol location. I'm gonna go where we're getting a bit iffy on time here. Actually, I'm going to have to use a rope anyway because I'm dumb and uh, I forgot to 
do the thing, so that's my bad. I mean, we can maybe get that idol, but for now we should, like, make sure we don't actually get the ghost to spawn. If there's some really good stuff in here that we want to come back for, and we somehow don't have enough money, because we have a lot of money as is, so I would hope, I would think we have enough to get whatever you want. A lot of it depends if there's a jetpack or not, because, you know, those things are flipping expensive. Or if there's a lot of bomb boxes. I do not plan to murder them. Okay, we'll buy the bomb box. We'll probably buy the spike shoes. I mean, we'll get them in the ice caves anyway, but it's, it'll be good to have them in the jetpack. That just uh, changes everything. So... I think I could buy one more, one more bomb box or my nose is itching me. I apologize for this delay. Um, I will play an ad break while I uh, do that. I will not actually play an ad break because I would get like what? Negative two cents? I don't know. So, like, oh, I can't actually afford, I can't afford one more bomb bag. Even though I have a jetpack, I think I'm going to buy a rope pile instead. Just because he, the rare situation where you need to like hit something above you, it does happen. Even with the jetpack shotgun combo. So we have a full, full on jetpack shotgun setup here. So it kind of looks like we killed the, everyone at the black market with, <laughs> with our setup here. And what are the main things we're missing out on? Bomb, some bombs and ropes. I think there's six bombs total that we would have been able to get. Yeah, six bombs, spike shoes, and some rope. So when I miss not on a whole lot, I would like to buy those bombs. Actually, now that I think about it, we probably can. So we have the jetpack, so we can like get the idol pretty easily now. Let's try. I think if we're quick, we can do this. But it is going to be a bit close. It's kind of annoying that the black market... Can, there's only like there's only one entrance at the top and not two like there used to be but it's fine Mary the old olden days where you would just kill the, everyone in the black market every time because there's like no reason not to just do that and now okay don't actually land the spikes we're, we're kind of close very close honestly where the, we, the ghost probably will chase us for a, a little bit here but it shouldn't be too bad Okay, we'll buy that, we'll buy that, and that'll be good. Spike shoes and another bomb bag. And just an overall really good situation. Ghost to spawn, but he spawned on the left, so we'll be just fine. And really good setup. Minus 70,000. Our score isn't going to be exactly amazing. I genuinely think when I record Spawn Gadgets, play better. It's, it's really weird. We're also going to free all the four sisters. Which, they give you a bomb box if you do that. So that's going to be, what, 32 bombs with paste? That's a... It's just a really good setup. <laughs> just full-on full, full on really good setup. We could go the temple route this time because we do have paste. The main problem with the temple route is we uh, would lose our jetpack unless we, like, give it to the... The Walder, the Walder dude. The slam man who carries your items to the future. Which... I, again, the temple route, I think, is just, like, by far more dangerous. And the only thing you really get out of it is, uh, more money. Like, that's it. So. Like, if I was concerned about score, then yeah. Might as well do the, or then I would do the temple route. But for now, I just want to win. So I think I'm just going to do the, the tide pool route, route again because it's just safer. It's just so much safer. Bomb bag. The temple, there's just so many dangers. The temple's like arguably harder than the... Like it's not that much harder. I'm trying to like find a good analogy here. It's hard, okay? That's all I need to know. The temple is hard. It's like probably... It's on t It's on par with being as hard as the, the final level. The, the, the final level by which I mean the level before the mermaid boss. Tiamat, you know. The League of Legends item, okay? That's the mermaid boss. Because apparently Tiamat... I actually didn't know Tiamat was like a name that's a mythological god. Um, 
I'm assuming Yama is too. I don't know about Olmec. Olmec, I'm pretty sure, is made up by Splunky. But, you know. I know a lot of random, like, mythological, mythological gods at this point. I was really into mythology as a kid. Like, just Egyptian, Norse, Greek. I don't know which my favorite would be, but, you know. I think bits and pieces. I kind of like the theme of, like, Norse and giants and stuff, but, you know. It's kind of cool. It's like when I, when I played Persona 5 and a lot of the Personas could be like, here's a, here, you have Wukon. Here, you have uh, Shiva. Shiva's purple. What? I don't think anyone will get that joke, but, you know, of course no one will get it. Except for me and any other uh, readers of a uh, very good series titled Record of Ragnarok. If you do like seeing gods fight people, then that's the series for you. What is it with anime and flashbacks in the middle of battles? Can we talk about that? Is there any, like, so many, like, anime? Yes, anime, that's right. We're, we're on to otaku talk, that, uh, otaku talk time now because of flippin' Olmec is taking too long to shoot his bombs out. Okay, I don't really have anywhere to go with that. Just, could animes cut back a little on flashbacks happening in the middle of the ba middle of battles? Like, it happens a lot. <laughs> Even the most popular series, it's like, in this one battle, we're gonna have two flashbacks. One from the hero side, one from the villain side. And it's like, just stop it. I think that's part of the reason I like Demon Slayer, is usually flashbacks would occur after the battle, or like, I'm trying to remember, and I think, yeah, it was usually after the battle where a flashback would happen. It's like, thank you. We don't need, stop interrupting fights with, like, flashbacks. Like, there's, there's this one anime, God of High School, and it's like these two side characters. You get, like, half the series is, like, or half the that episode is, like, a flashback about those two side characters. Those two side characters are completely irrelevant, and you basically don't see them after that one episode. It's like, why? Why'd you do that? Like, I didn't dislike it necessarily. It sounds like I did, but it's like, what was the point of this? Of showing this, uh... This flashback, it didn't really seem necessary, like, at all, but, you know, that's about it. I remember when I used to watch, like, normal shows, too. Now it's just, like, the occasional anime, and that's about it. Oh, I've, I've tried watching other shows. There's this one Netflix show I caught watching called Dark. D-A-R-K, for those of you who don't speak English, which is most of you, probably. I know most of you probably speak, uh, fluent, uh, Chinese Mandarin, but, uh, I'm, I myself speak very good English, I know. It's pretty exciting. Let's get that out of the way. We're gonna have to shoot him a couple more times, because he kind of, uh... Kind of missed, uh... Maybe we'll shoot him from here. Alright, this, this spot's a bit awkward. Come on. Now nah, we missed it! He didn't get in the lava, but he should just, I should just move him over here, and then he's fine, yeah. Again, I always have him, I always have him land on the left area, because that's just always the easiest and most consistent thing to do. Of course, with the shotgun and jetpack, it was really easy to do that time. I mean, Grant, I, I actually think I did it more smoothly last time, but I think that's just a matter of RNG with where the bombs went. So, we are an official, an official decent run status. Here, here's, here's my timeline here, okay? Uh, decent run. I don't timeline doesn't like make sense for what I'm saying at all, but whatever. A decent run is um be, being all and game young. That's the official like decent run, decent run status. Don't know why my nose is itching. I'm sorry, bug. Hopefully you will be missed, but probably not. I'm sorry. My I need to, I need to itch my nose with a tissue in hand. Don't worry. I'm a very sanitary. I am a very sanitary individual. Yep, sure. That's English. Yeah, decent run is Olmec status. Uh, good run is getting to the f getting to the final level before uh, Mermaid, so the you know the normal final level. A very good run is um, beating being Tiamat or getting to the sunken palace, and be and a great an amazing run would be beating the sunken palace, and God run would be. 
you know, beating the Sunken Palace and doing the thing after that, which I have not done before. So, actually, now that I think about it, if we go to the Tide Pool, we're not going to be able to take the shotgun with us anyway because of the fact that, uh, because if we go to the Tide Pool, then we're not going to be able to take, we're gonna be, we'll be able to take the jetpack with us, but not the shotgun. We'll have, to, we'll have to take the Excalibur with us. So, we'll put a shotgun here. You know, we're not, it's not like we're taking the bow with us anyway, so we, we, let's be a little crazy. Let's try the temple route. I haven't done it in a while. Every bone in my body is saying this is a bad idea, but whatever. I mean, besides, the, this route's blocked off anyway. Let's let's mix it up. Let's go let's go crazy. And the reason we're, blo we're dropping off our jetpack as well is because with the temple route, you kind of have to sacrifice yourself, so you can't just, like, leave yourself at the top. So, here we go, so... This is what I'm talking about, man. This is why I'm talking. This is why the temple is just awful. Look at this start. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do here? I should seriously like nerf this place. I swear. I did not mean to do that. I think I think two bombs kills those guys. Okay. We should kill the crocodile, man. We have a lot of bombs, so we can afford to just watch out for the moving blocks that crush you. My god. Those are the things that I really hate about this place. This guy's actually, like, a problem. And I think that should kill Anubis. Yes, it will. Um, we have spike shoes, so we actually were able to get the clover there. Okay. Don't... Don't relax yet. I'm not getting that gold. I don't want to aggro those cats. If those cats touch you, you get ghosted, which is like you're down to one health permanently. And I'm not interested in having that happen. That path actually looks mostly fine. I'm again, I'm not going to free hired help. I could actually use this thing, so let's do that. And hope it just kills her and, and just that's it. Stay away from me. That's all I wanted. Move slowly. Yeah, the corpse is in the way. Ah, uh, because I want to kill the cat. That cat's a serious issue. Maybe if we, like, move this corpse over here, then it'll go after the... Okay, good. I was worried it was going to, like, ricochet backwards and hit me to try to go for the corpse to the left. I think it just goes to, to whatever's closest. So, destroy that block. And move on and hope we find the City of Gold pretty early here. Nope, there's a block there. They can even... I'm just, I hate these things so much. They're even harder, I feel like they're harder to see than they were, than they were in, the, uh, in the first game. I like a lot, actually. No sign of the City of Gold. Don't need to blow that one up. Ooh. Didn't want that one to, like, get me in a bad situation there. Oh, oh, we're leaving. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I think I was able to react to it. My god. My god indeed. Hopefully my audio isn't like that bad because my door's open. So hopefully it's not like... You're gonna feel a burst of excitement inside you. It's a mummy. Okay. Sup, crocodile man. So... I, would, I mean, I would like to get some money before, like, I leave this area, but... They, Derek, you decide, let's make the City of Gold just awful and have it filled with crocodile men. So, and the spawns where the, for the crocodile men are really bad this time around. So, like, I would like to get all that gold over there, for example, but, again, high score shouldn't be my concern right now. 
Um, I would try to maybe get a little money and explore a little, but there's too many crocodile men. So we don't have a parachute or anything, so we're just gonna do this here. Now we are a ghost going to Duat. This place looks cool. That's the one thing I reason I like about it. I like it a lot. Uh, but it's just so much scarier than the flipping tide pool boss, tide pool uh, root comparison. Those are because of the giant snake. The giant snake is a bit of a, pro a problem. Just we need to really like. I think the snake always goes above you. I think he spawns at regular intervals. He, like, comes from the walls and tries to eat us, which is not very nice of him. Oh. Can, I, can, I, can that thing see through a wall? I don't know. So let's just leave him alone. He's fine. He's not harming anyone, I think. He is poisoned. I was like, wait, wait, the skulls are going to fall. Be careful. Hmm. <laughs> look, look, buddy. You're really, like, making this difficult for everyone involved here. <laughs> Just keep going that same route, and you're fine. He will show up a second time as soon as we get high enough. Not, you know, high with drugs. That's not something I'm personally into. If I was, though, maybe I would have sent to a new level in Spunky. Who knows? I mean, let's get, just break out the booze at this point. I'm going to wait for that dog man to turn around. I don't think dog man is very accurate. He's more just like a very a dog with like mixed with a crocodile because this is the place nightmares are made out of. Pretty cur, pretty cur set up there. Again, I'm killing all these snakes for their blood. Oh, what the? Not sure why there's a bomb box there, but I'll take it. Right there, yeah. And I believe this is the top. Okay, Osiris. I forgot Anubis shows up too. Let's just kill Anubis out of, right out of the gate here. You know, that guy's gonna be doing his thing. You really like cramping my style here, buddy. Don't want the witch doctor to be a problem. Come on, just come on, man. Just die already. There you go. Okay. I think all those emeralds are gonna fall. Now, here's a question. Um, yeah, how do we get up there? Because <laughs> we can't use ropes. I think we have to, we'll have to run to. The, okay, it, it grows bigger. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way they did. That's an oversight, right? That'd be a pretty. Seems like a pretty simple oversight, if you ask me. I'm actually gonna, like, close the door a little here. It's okay, though. You can still hear me and all of my glory. Alright, there we go. So, now we're uh, back in the ice caves. So, I know there is a way to get... Okay, snake, sure. There is a way to actually get the your jetpack and stuff back from the blob dude earlier in the ice caves. I think... Yeah, let's just stay away from that guy. <laughs> stay far away from that guy. I think you just go to... It's like right above the Yeti cave. There's a place to... do the thing. Uh, right above the Yeti cave, there's like a, ca a hidden cave in the blocks. I think it's consistently in like kind of the same spot. 
I'm, I'm gonna sacrifice this guy to get try to get royal jelly. Let's just let's just do this. I'm running low on ropes, but the hope is we'll be able to get a shotgun back. And yeah, that's why I want the royal jelly. Because now HP is very much a concern again. We could I, we could try sacrifice the yetis, but that would take a lot of time. I want to at least get the clover then. If we manage to get our jetpack back, then yeah, I'll I'll try hard to do that. Make sure don't throw there. Wait. Okay, no, this is the way. Yeah, see, there he is. So I think it's like. I right, well, I it's not that wasn't really really my intention. It's like there it is. Yeah, it's like right above the Yeti cave. Okay. Fantastic, actually. Like, genuinely really good. So, let's get our stuff back here back. And jetpack, shotgun. Really, really good setup. Like, incredible setup, honestly. Well, actually, well... We don't actually have a huge reason to go to the Yeti Cave. Um, I am gonna do it. Mostly because I would like to get the Clover. Okay, good. Just be careful there. And then we'll just, uh, you know, kill everything here for the money at this point. There's the Force Child. I don't know if the Force Child actually does anything beyond when you save them, but they, they show they show up there, so... I don't know, maybe. You would think they do something, considering they show up again. Okay, we got that as well. And now, I mean... Here's the thing. We're gonna have we're gonna be able to get to the exit pretty quickly now that we have uh now that we have the 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 jetpack back. So let's just make our health skyrocket into new heights by sacrificing a bunch of yetis. And then we're, we're when we're around at like the four minute, four minute thirty second mark, we'll uh book it to the exit. And that should like make us very good. Even if we get hit by a flame attack and explode at this point, I think we'll live, because I think an explosion does... Yeah, that was, um... Remember remember that he's there? Please remember he's there? <laughs> I was, uh... I, I was literally just about to say that an explosion does 12 damage, and that would have done 12 plus our jetpack exploding, so I think that would have definitely killed us. Um, I'm assuming it... I'm assuming explosion does 12 damage. I don't think an explosion instantly kills you. That much I'm pretty sure on. Uh, I think that's actually all we'll be able to sacrifice for now. Because we can't carry the yetis out of the cave, I think. So let's just uh, get out of there. I mean, we can take this one up, maybe. Can they take them? Okay, you can't. Wanted to check. And I don't think our jetpack has enough fuel to make it up there. Plus, we only have uh, like a minute left, so... Let's just play it safe and uh, leave. So we can reach new heights in our Splunky skill. Granted, I don't need to reach new heights because I'm already the Splunky, Splunky 2 player uh, out there. Uh, avid listeners of you to my um, of my book, because I have an audiobook as well, it's very good, would know that. And I appreciate you for uh, understanding my Splunky powers. Okay, there's that as well. Um anything up there just chilling and we'll move on with our lives here we are gonna have to maybe i shouldn't have taken the shotgun because we're gonna have to take the pot in the next level anyway which means i won't have the shotgun for the final level so that might be a mistake i mean i definitely should have taken the jetpack out in the ice case when i had the chance to but the shotgun arguably i should have uh so this level is still a nightmare. Um, this level is never not a nightmare. Like, I mean, come on, just look, look at this. This is just nonsense. It's just, just nonsense. Once again, we just have a, a lava pit just casually uh, spewing out. Those guys take so much hits, it's crazy. Uh, hello, Mr. Cat. Um, your blood will be used for the Blood God car. 
And, like, I don't really know what I'm going to do about this. Because we can go above here. Play it safe. We're using a bomb. <laughs> We're using a bomb there. I don't think I... I probably don't have to, but... Let's just play it safe. Okay. Very good, very good. We'll try to get as much blood as we can out of Percy this time. Again, Percy, I apologize, but we just can't... We can't risk uh, carrying him all the way to the exit. He's not, it's not important enough to do that at this point. And... I guess sometimes this has no normal cave entrance, and sometimes it doesn't. I thought they, like, patched it, but... Because it just depends. Let's get him out of there. Yeah, this is it. So I don't even, I don't even, I haven't, I don't even remember what the randomly generated message was. A smiling servant of wood marked by the snake. What is that? Oh, that's like the, the map, like, showing all the stuff we've got in this run. That was weird. <laughs> Might be glitched. Is it still going? I don't know. Smiling, smiling servant of wood marked by the snake. Alright, that's, that's pretty easy. We'll leave the shotgun there for now. Smiling servant of wood marked by the... I already forgot. It's not... I legitimately already forgot what's wrong with me. Come on, marked... What was it marked by? The snake. Smiling servant of wood marked by the snake. Okay. I don't know what to... This, this, this run is pretty... It's really good too, it's kind of funny. When you first see this room, it's like... It's such an obvious, like, well, something crazy is going on with this room. I don't know what it is, though. There's a uh, normal servant of wood with a bat. We want a snake. The first time I couldn't even tell what that they were snakes because it looked just like a squiggly line, which I guess that's a snake, more or less. They are squiggly lines in real life, it's true. There's one with a snake, but it's not smiling. Those two are smiling, but no snake. This is quite the contrast from last time where we found the figure we needed immediately. I'm not talking about the anime figures either. Here's, here's one with a snake, but it's not smiling. Just make sure you don't get crushed by the blocks, for the love of God. I actually just wish you had, like, chains. Just chains you could, like, ascend instead of having to use these stupid... There it is, okay. Smiling sermon to woodmark by the bat. Fantastic. So... Again, we're not going to be able to take our shotgun with us. So we'll tr we'll keep it around for now. Drop it down there and then we'll get our thingamabobber. I mean, I'm calling it a figure because I don't know what these things are actually called. Pots. It doesn't matter. It's like, it's, it's some weird name with a U. And, you know, I'm not talking about, like... It's like Yuyubashi, it's like the guy from Demon Slayer, the water teacher. That was a very dangerous, like, going under that platform. Because you can't get crushed by those things. It's happened to me once before, and it made me extremely upset. That's a laser trap. Again, don't worry about bringing the shotgun with you. You're not going to be able to take it with you anyway. Concerning. Was not anticipating that explosion. Uh, granted, there's a lot of stuff you can't anticipate on this floor, which is what makes it so dangerous. And there we go. Okay. I'm always concerned, even though it's like, I know I got the right figure. It, it, it might it might not beep or something. I really want to get that guy out of the way. Okay, good. The, the, the way they scream is like, kind of concerning here. Again, like, I'm not, I don't want to take the chance of going through those. If we get hit by one of those electric traps, we're going to take like... I think they already do a lot of damage, and the jetpack exploding on top of it would deal even more. <gasps> Dude. Oh, dang it. I was really hoping, but he gets pushed back so much. I'm just like, just like the last run, where it's like, we could get a shotgun from that guy. We could do it. Nope. <laughs> he, well, <I'm laughs> I will have nothing to do with you, sir. Just let me concentrate, okay? Don't get off my back. I am concentrating. Very serious concentration. Another just casual lava spillage. Lava could... 
Um, like, okay, um, really wondered if we just got soft locked there. We're not soft locked, like, I wonder if it's possible for you to get soft locked by like lava spewing everywhere around the exit, because that was really close to happening. That was, um, Almost extremely unfortunate. So once again, Tiamat, uh, you're looking absolutely love to love the day, but I have places to be, people to meet. Uh, in the Cthulhu's realm. And by Cthulhu's realm, I of course mean it scares me every time, every time. But we got it. And I've done well to reach this place, and this is honestly, like... Unless we make a stupid mistake like last time and get just... I don't pay attention to a flesh block. This should be a win. Uh, we don't have exactly have a huge amount of bombs, but we, we should have enough. Uh, I think we have spike shoes as well. Uh, we don't have a, we don't have a bow or anything, so I don't think we can do the... The super mega ending. As I, you know constantly call it um i think so this statue i think is what you need for like the eggplant route you need to like take an eggplant all the way to here or something which is just actual insanity um i don't know again i don't know if i'll ever do ever 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 do that <laughs> one step at a time maybe after like i have 300 hours in spelunky 2 if i assuming i get that many yeah that maybe we'll uh we'll, we'll consider doing eggplant nonsense of course, the main problem right now is we only have our whip as a as a weapon, and that is the the sun challenge, which is very dangerous, uh, especially without a shotgun or any weapon. There's no way I'm doing it. All she gives you is like this super. So the way I think it works is you you bring the bow all the way to here, do that challenge. The sun challenge is like you have to fight off a bunch of enemies. It's just crazy. Um, this is kind of an unfortunate setup here, so we'll just use a rope there. Let's speed, speed, speed. Let's play it, play it, play it a little safe here. And by little safe, I mean extremely safe. That, that, that air trap concerns me. There we go. Oh, forgot about those things. But thankfully, I don't think they kill you. I think they just stun you. Which, thank god, there's another one. But I think the way to get the super secret ending is... Uh, you know, I'll talk about it later. Let's just talk about it later. Oh, this is, a. Uh, it's just unfortunate, but... Nothing we can't handle. And of course, yes, the frogs are indeed back from the first game. You know, you, I know you missed them, so here they are. There we go. But yeah, we're not doing that sun challenge because it, it, we don't have any way to use the thing it gives us. And we don't have a weapon to reliably complete it with. So, I'm not even gonna... What was that sound? It sounded like a Windows update sound or something. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I guess that's just the normal music. Kind of... Kind of concerning. Uh, I think I saw a crate over there. There's an actual shopkeeper with a... You know, shopkeeper? If you were here, like... One floor earlier... That would have been so much better, because I would have bought the shotgun and maybe done the sun. Actually, no, it wouldn't have mattered at all. He has a crossbow, too! Dude, dude. My god, my dude, if you were here one floor earlier, you could have given us the chance to do the god run. You, get, you would have given us the shotgun and the bow. Why weren't you here just one floor earlier? Oh, well. We'll buy the shotgun, because, like, why not? There's no, like, other enemies I'm seeing, aside from these... Darn. Oh no, is that gonna anger him? Yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake. I just wanted to get the crate and, um, yeah, um, didn't consider the fact that, really, we don't have anything good here. Just this guy. I don't want this guy to follow me out. Again, I do not trust hired helps. They've screwed me more than they've, they screwed me way too much. Well, now we're gonna have to deal with shopkeepers for the remainder of the run, I guess. <laughs> Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but still, that was just carelessness on my part. That's fine, though. I hope it's fine, at any, at any rate. Go, leave. 
leave. I thought the explosion was going to be like so big it would have killed us while we were inside the tunnel. I was going to be furious. But um, thankfully that did not happen. And we're just going to... Th those guys can eat the larva? That's detail. That's detail right there. Going to just see everything there. Just mouths on the walls. Normal stuff. And okay. Sure, that guy. Just some casual bone piles. This should be a victory. The only concern, real concern now, is um thrown in on the on the, on the boss because I've only fought him once before, so I'm still not entirely sure it's the best way to fight him. Um, and of course the shopkeeper is now a hindrance as well. But we have 22 HP, jetpack, shotgun. We're really well off. I'm still disappointed that Chalkier didn't show up one floor earlier. That would have been so good. Because um, that's basically what we wanted. Is uh, I'm just going to wait for all of them to spawn. Because these things, these things terrify me now that they've killed me once. It's an altar, actually, but... Nothing else. Yes, there is a giant fly, I'm aware. Um, I don't think the flies are actually dangerous. Because if you look at their log entry, it says like they're... They're scary, but they're harmless. And the few times I've gone near them, yeah, they don't actually uh, do anything. Which is interesting. And we're just gonna do this here. I actually am gonna sacrifice the dog. Um, well, I was going to, at least. Okay, we still can. Might as well get Royal Jelly. 30 HP, why not? This is definitely the re record for how much HP I've ever had. So I don't know if that's tracked anywhere, but that's definitely a thing. Uh, should be fine. Those, those chimes, those chimes in the like soundtrack is really, really concerning me. All right, you. Um, how are we gonna deal with this guy? I think we should just keep shooting here. We should be fine. I really want to know how you got here, by the way, Mr. Shopkeeper. Like, uh, I had to do a lot of hurdles to get up here. You must have, like, some serious connections with the other outer gods of the world to to do this. There is a tadpole. I will kill this tadpole because I don't trust it. Normally, normally we wouldn't do that, but at this point we might as well try to get as much money as we can. Um, and that will be that. So, I think it's one... This is the final floor? Is this 7-4? Okay. So now there's a giant scary... Yeah, that guy's, uh, that guy's here. Is this, was there a thing above us? Yeah. Let's just uh, try to get quick here. You don't actually need to be too quick, but it's still scary having a giant monster uh, trying to kill you from the depths. And ropes are actually pretty useful for killing those things, because they kill all the larvae instantly. Do that. Go through here as, with, in all its pleasant glory. It's Oh, the flies can eat the frogs. The frogs eat the bugs, the flies eat the frogs. Interesting. Okay, we have reached the top here. I think there's guaranteed crates to spawn up here, maybe. There's one time, I think I've, I've gotten up here twice? I've beaten it once, but there was one time I got up here with 2 HP and there was an air trap, like, spawned right here, didn't see, and it killed me. I was, I was peeved, I was peeved. As Blunky tends to make you, uh, increases your peeve levels by significant margins. Let's just get him out of the way. He'll destroy that spear trap as well. So, yes, yes. Anti-gravity water is fine. Where are you at? Where are you at, dude? There he is. I think he stops yeah, after a certain point, so... <sighs> okay, we actually did hit him there. Just 
a little closer. Get rid of the snake head, because I, I don't know if they both spew fireballs. Okay, that one's... Now I just need to worry about this one. I think this should land. That will land. <laughs> one more bomb and we're good, I think. But I think there's like spikes beneath us, so... One hit and I think we're dead from the fireball, because I'll make our jetpack explode. Oh, is that it? Are we good? He's still alive. Nope. We did it! Yay! Victory! Um, yeah, and then the ceiling goes away. So, I think the way it works for the super the super secret ending beyond this is you take the bow of the final... You take the bow all the way up here. Uh, you do the sun challenge, which is like this enemy gauntlet, and it gives you this light arrow. And you equip the... You put the light arrow in the bow. You beat Hundun here, and then you shoot the arrow into his eye. Once you've beaten him. I think that's what you do. Um, so I'm definitely capable of doing that. I mean, I got very close last run. Um, we probably, we had the potential to do it this run. We just never took the bow with us, partially because we, you know, we got an early shotgun and we just want a normal win to increase our self-esteem. But one day, mister, one day I will, uh, do beyond. But this is the second time I've, got, I've, I've gotten this victory. So this is honestly really good, a uh, really good run. We'll have our ninja friend go out here, and man, I need to, I'm almost considering just like to keep recording this, just because it makes me, I think it makes me play better. I think I've said that already, but it was a good run. It was a very good run. What's that accent? I don't know. Maybe it's how the ninja actually talks. Yes, and here's our 8-bit Splunky friend. Oh, dude, my shotgun's there. But that's valuable weaponry. You're just gonna leave that behind? He's, he's gonna take a chest with us, I'm assuming. You better. Why would you not take a chest with you? That's like the way to do things. We have left the sunken city. The credits have rolled. Uh, Derek Yu, the mastermind himself, who has created this terrific and also um, highly frustrating and difficult game. But, and that's not frustrating at this point, it's good because we won. 210,000. Final score. 400, oh, it gives 200,000. And I think, what, pets come out of it? Is that what happens? Yeah. Yeah. 54 minutes. Pretty sure that was the exact same, like, pretty much the exact same time. What was the last one? Like, 51? So. I was a wanted criminal. I was a king. I took my first damage on 1 2 bat. I stayed Osiris, the underworld king. Amazing enough, I defeated Hunter and escaped to the surface. Yippee. Kai, yay. I do kind of like, I do like the whole, like, map layout here. Pretty cool. So that is a victory. Congratulations. Everyone just says congratulations now. I've now gotten uh, I've gotten two victories against Hunton. Very good. Very fantastic. Um, and next we'll work on doing the victory beyond that. But uh, who knows how long it'll take to do that. I'm definitely capable of doing it. Just a matter of time of uh, when. We also need to finish doing the shortcut scene with this lady, which is like bring the key to the ice caves, which that's definitely doable. It's just annoying to do. So hopefully you enjoyed this just absolutely incredible adventure. Um, and I will uh, wish you the best of luck on your journey to Finland, which I'm assuming is what you're going to do next. Thank you and have a good day. Do some push-ups. <laughs>